This is the new Teshcon Color SpectroDens handheld spectrodensitometer. As with the entire line of Teshcon instruments, there are no external moving parts. The measuring aperture is located on the side of the unit, making it extremely easy to locate the area to be measured. The new color spectrodens ergonomic design and true one second per measurement makes it the fastest handheld spectrodensitometer on the market. It does not have the antiquated clamshell design, unlike other instruments, that require you to push down and hold the instrument until the measurement is complete. This makes for slow measurement time and increases the probability of accidentally moving the instrument from side to side, often resulting in inaccurate measurements. The new color spectrodens expands the capabilities of the traditional spectrodens, enabling operators to do short scan measurements of color control bars in addition to the normal spot check measurements of individual colors. In the spot check measurement mode, measuring density is fast and easy. Place the measurement aperture over the patch to measure. Hit the green measurement button. As you can see, the spectrodens recognizes the specific color that it's measuring, and it displays the measured density value. As I measure magenta, yellow, and black, it displays all four CMYK density values on the screen. Determining whether color is within customer specified tolerances or industry standards like ISO is a snap. I'm navigating to the C Lab feature. One thing about the SpectroDens is you can upload all your color libraries, whether they be Pantone, a customer supplied library, or if you want to measure in reference values. You can keep them right on the instrument that itself. When I'm ready to take measurements, place it over the, place to, the patch to be measured, and it will automatically find the specific color in the library. Here I'm taking the LAB value, I'm turning delta mode on, and it will dis display the measured sample against that color in the library. And not only give you a, here it's showing a 1.56 delta E, but it gives you a visual representation of how far the color is from what it should be. The new scanning mode uses the tracking wheels on the bottom of the instrument, enabling the user to quickly scan color patches while maintaining perfect scan alignment. On the instrument, you select the media wedge function. And this feature will allow you to go ahead and measure one or multiple row color bars. You align the measurement aperture in front of the first row of color patches, hold the green measure button down, and smoothly draw it across the color bar. As that is completed, I go on to the next row. and then measure the last row. The SpectroDens is displaying the delta E of the printing substrate, primary colors, all of the patches, and the CMY grayscale patches. It's also indicating whether that is within tolerance or not by putting a check mark to say that's within tolerance, or a bright red X to say that is outside of the tolerance. The SpectroDens has a new LED light source that supports the M0 through M3 measuring conditions 
in accordance with the ISO 13655, enabling accurate measurement of print substrates that contain optical brighteners. The new LED light source offers a nearly unlimited life lifespan, whereas other instruments use a tungsten gas-filled lamp, which will periodically require replacement. It comes with a standard USB port, but even better, has a robust WLAN network option for wireless communications to a PC running Tashcon software. There's no need to be tethered to the computer, so when you're taking measurements, it will save it automatically. The new SpectroDens is equipped with a high-resolution color display. The new display is designed to be more intuitive and to improve productivity by enabling a visual representation of C-Lab values. Navigation consists of a down arrow, an up arrow, so you can navigate to the feature or function you wish to select. Once you've highlighted what you want to select, you hit the enter button, and that feature is selected. The instrument comes with high capacity memory and can store up to 4,500 colors. There's no need to constantly be uploading and downloading color libraries due to inadequate amount of memory, as you will find with other devices. This is the calibration and charging base. Charging the battery is easy. You plug the power supply into this connection. And then simply set the instrument on the base and the SpectraDens self-manages charging the, charging the battery. There is no on or off button because it will charge when it needs to and stop charging when it is complete. You can actually measure up to 10,000 measurements between charges. Calibration is done on the same base. To calibrate, you dial out the ceramic white calibration tile, set the instrument on the base, then select the calibration icon and press the green measurement button. That's all there is to calibrating the device and to protect the white ceramic tile from paper dust, ink, and other materials found in a press room you just turn the dial back into the base which completely inhibits any damage from occurring to the ceramic tile.